Today I want to talk about what it's like filming on a skateboard. The other weekend my roommate and I went out to get some footage of him skateboarding. I knew that if I needed to keep speed with him, I would need to be on a board as well. Fortunately, I had a longboard. I went handheld for this because I didn't want the hassle of a gimbal, and plus, I didn't want to potentially fall with the gimbal as well. And being on a longboard, I knew that if I was handheld, I would still be getting good smooth footage because your longboard kind of acts like a dolly. Now I've done some filming on a longboard before, but this is technically considered the first time I'm filming someone else while on a longboard. and that is a whole different level. I'm glad that I had foundational skateboarding skills because it was very challenging. I had to make sure that I was focused on where I was going. I was getting the shot that I needed to. I had to make sure I didn't fall and I had to make sure I didn't run into the other guy. So there was a lot of stuff going on. It's kind of like an octopus, like all these arms just. But as I skated, I began to get a feel for it. For one shot, I skated ahead and filmed him from the front. For this, I had to make sure I was focusing on my skate path, but also making sure I was catching the shot that I needed with my camera arm out behind me. And the tracking was, it wasn't impossible, but it was a little challenging just because he was behind me. And I had to make sure, you know, I was focused on my path so I didn't fall. But also at the same time, I had to look back a couple times to make sure I was pointing my camera, you know, in the right direction. As you can see in this clip, my tracking was pretty good, except for when he whipped from behind me to in front of me. I would say in the future I need to work on my anticipation of those whips so that I can track with him and not have him leave out of frame because now that little section of the clip is now, you know, not technically usable in that sense if we wanted to watch him skate. I think my favorite shot was when I actually sat down on my longboard. With the road being a little bit downhill, I was able to just kind of get going and then just cruise. Now with this shot, I started and then he started way back behind me. And as I got going, I had my camera low to the ground with a wide angle lens. As I got going, he came just like zipping in and just came with a nice big turn into the frame. And what's really cool about this shot is as he like turned in, he hit like a piece of mulch or like a stick and that stick when it got hit by the wheel went flying across the camera lens and it was just like vroom, and it was just perfect because there's like little elements like that that you can't always plan and it just makes the action feel that much like cooler and you're in it more and it was really cool being able to be like super low to the ground and whatnot so that was really cool well, what's funny is when we got to the end of the road I started like wobbling I was like whoa whoa because I was trying to turn I think I don't know what happened but it was funny whoa. I think in the future I want to do better at planning skate lines ahead of time. That way myself and the skater have a better idea of what, how, and where to skate. But this is definitely a really fun filming style and I definitely want to do more of it. In the meantime, I'm still longboarding just because it's fun, but also it's also working on my skills so that when I get back on the board with a camera, you know, I'm going to have better balance and better skills overall. So yeah. Thanks for joining me on this episode. I hope you enjoyed it as much as I did talking about it. And I'll see you on the next one.